All right, so the cars are small, but the fun isn't. beautiful Valparaiso, Indiana at King Hobbies and Raceway, and we're going to be racing some mean machines on a dirt track. This is Jim Walker. He is the owner of King Hobbies. You guys started the shop a while ago and then sort of added all the raceway stuff. Tell me about your shop here because it's kind of a unique place. Correct. We manufacture uh, radio control of the car accessories. We've been doing that 11 years now. Uh, we moved into this facility approximately six years ago. And about four years ago, we opened the outside race facility. So it gives the guys in the local area a chance to come out and run their radio control cars. Okay, what kind of a car am I going to be driving today? Uh, running this little Traxxas rally car today, Ooh. battery operated. Uh, out of the box, these things will do 30 to 40 mile an hour. Wow. Uh, if you put a bigger battery in it, you could probably get it 60 mile an hour out of this. Holy, okay, this is yeah. not, this is not, you know, the little train this track you have, race track you have no, around the Christmas tree in the morning. This is not the typical RC car, that radio control car that you would buy at your typical box store. Um, these are, you break them, you can fix them. There's a wall full of parts, so you can replace pretty much anything on this car. The shell is just a plastic body, just so it looks like a vehicle. The rest the, is so underneath. So this is it. This is this what is we're it. racing. Uh, this is full four-wheel drive, battery operated. All right, well, let's see how this bad baby runs. Okay. You ready? I'm um, as ready as I'm going to okay, be. Here okay, here we go. So. Okay, right hand and a little bit. Woo! <laughs> this a little bit of gas goes a long way. I, I see that. <laughs> It, there's, it's a lot more sensitive. Yes. I think that I expected it to be. So, whoa! I did you see what I did? Yeah. I, I, I put some tracks down in the park. You can burn rubber on this thing. Exactly. Wow! Holy cow! Whoa! So, this is the track. Yes. It's actually quite large, and I guess I should have figured that out given how quickly the cars travel. Mm -hmm. you, you can't have a little track there. Right, correct. So tell me a little bit about this particular track. Obviously, uh, it's a dirt It's dirt off -road. track. It's off-road. Uh, it's approximately 80 feet by 180 feet. Uh, we do change the layout quite often. You may see uh, single jumps out there, double jumps, uh, berms, straightaways. Uh, just kind of mixes up the flow. Uh, you don't want to have a lot of boredom out there. Boredom? We're jumping. How, how bored can we be? Uh, okay, so where's our car starting from? We're going to start out on the dirt, but we'll drive it on the steps first because it is off-road. Wow. Okay. And we're going to start right here. So have you always had this ability to be above the track here when you race? Or uh, when we built the facility that we added this, yes. Oh, oh my goodness. My bad. Oh well. <laughs> and it still and it still drives. Of course. No, uh -oh. it's all yours. Oh, and it might not drive after this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> There's a little bit. Actually here, put your finger inside of it. Okay. There you you're go. right. And just a little bit. Oh now I'm going forward. Not hit this guy. <laughs> I probably don't want to be there, right? Oh wait, I did I backed up again. I don't want to hit this guy. Gosh darn it. You know what, I guess what's amazing me is how delicate the steering is. Because yes. I think I'm just doing a little yeah. turn here, and in fact, I'm turning it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. We'll, we may have to get some assistance on Let's that see. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'll get it. Now who's that down there? Uh, that would be Jared and a little porter. Jim is hanging his head right now in shame, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Women drivers? <laughs> well, it'll go. I'm not even on the track now, am I? No. Get it, Porter! Get it! <laughs> Thank you! 
I'm about to hit somebody else. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I had a little air there too, and I don't think I was supposed to. It's like I can't even get. No, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> See me. <laughs> You he, okay down there, partner? Oh, he saw it coming. He dove out of the way. <laughs> we got race four up now. Four by four short course. It's going to be Larry LaBelle, William Hobbs, Max Bowling, Larry Lonsberry, and Chris Lineberry. William, Matt, the other Larry, and Chris. You know, this is what we consider club racing, where it's just the locals that come out and just come out for fun, have a good time. A lot of Fam families. Family, I know family yeah. type thing. We try to make this a family environment here, so we watch the language and the uh, activities. Uh, mm -hmm. The professionals, uh, you'll typically see them in Southern California where they can always be the best of the best. And there's guys that are out there that are doing this for a living. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't personally know exactly how much they make, but the rumors, they're probably doing a quarter million dollars a year. It's the big leagues, you know, like it NASCAR, kind of just it, on, a, on a much oh, smaller yeah, a little level. Bit, yeah, there's not the millions involved, but... Uh, Still, that's a pretty... No, it's, I, it, the fact that you say that there are some people that start at a level like this yes. and end up doing it professionally. Exactly. So we've gotten to see a bunch of races, some incredible drivers, and these cars are just amazing. Uh, Jim, I want to thank you so much for taking well, the time to talk us through this, for okay. teaching me how to drive. My God, you have a lot of patience. <laughs> and, and thank you for having us out at your wonderful facility. Uh, thanks for coming out. We'll see you again next time on Jump in the Lake. So this is the Jump in the Lake crew. And this is the lake. If you know about any fun or unique activities in and around the Lakeshore region, drop us a line. You can reach us at jumpinthelake at lakeshorepublicmedia.org.